FAA medical certificates. You've got to know when yours expires or when a hypothetical one expires when you go for the FAA examination. So I'm looking at the official rules and you see they're quite detailed, they're quite exhaustive and good luck memorizing this. The best I've seen is tabular format like this but I think it's still quite too long to memorize so I, I'd like to introduce you to a graphical format. I find it, uh, personally find it a lot easier and I hope that you will too and you'll be able to finally memorize this topic once and for all. So let's switch to the graphic and here it is. So the first thing you'll notice that there are two parts, the left part and the right part as because the rules are quite different if you're under 40 years of age or over 40 years of age. And let's go through this. First of all, notice the perpetual line at the bottom. That's your sport pilot uh, license. What this means is that even after your medical certificate expires, you can continue practicing as a sport pilot. I won't go into details what that means, but you can f fly light aircraft, etc. After that, we get uh, your class three, which is a private pilot's license. And you see if you're under 40, you get 60 months to exercise it, which is the same as five years. And if you're over 40, you get 24 months or two years. Now let's look at class one and class two physicals. They're more stringent and they apply to airlines and commercial pilots. So essentially, after you get your class one, you get 12 months as a pilot in command of an airliner. And after that, your class one doesn't expire, but it reverts to a class three. And essentially, you only have a private pilot privilege unless you renew your class one physical. Same applies for co-pilot and uh, for commercial regional, regional pilot. You get 12 months as a class two, and then your license reverts to a private pilot, and you get 48 more months of that privilege. Now, if you're over 40, rules are a little bit stricter, timelines a little bit shorter. You get only six months as a pilot in command, as an ATP pilot. And after that, you can be a ATP co-pilot for six more months. And after that, you revert to a private pilot. As a class two co-pilot, you can enjoy that privilege for 12 months. And same goes for if you're a commercial pilot. So essentially, if you're class two, you gotta renew every year. If you're class one, you gotta renew every six months. Otherwise, you revert to a private pilot. Now let's look at a hypothetical question that you will find during an exam. Here it is. You are 39 years of age, getting a class one physical on June 15th, 2015. When will your private pilot privilege expire? So, 39 years of age. Private pilot is fi uh, five years if you're under 40. So, even though by the time it expires, you're going to be 44 years old. You still look at this section right here, under 40, because you're 39 at the time of examination. That's what this note tells you right here. Next. Let's look at this note at the bottom. It says, the, pi uh, the certificate expires at the end of a month. Initial partial month is bonus time. Essentially what this means, since we're talking June 15th, June doesn't count at all, and we start counting from July 1st. So how do we get our answer? Let's see. We're getting a class 1 physical, so we start right here. But we also know that we're only concerned about private pilot. So the answer is not 12 months from now, the answer is actually 5 years from now. And so from this point, it's simple ma math. Oh, sorry about that. If we know that it expires at the end of month, and the initial month doesn't count, that means it will expire July 30th, 2020. It's really as simple as that. In fact, after you know this graphic, all of the questions become quite simple. Uh, you can download this image with the link in the description. Please like this video and also read the full official rules just in case something has changed since I recorded this video. Thank you for watching.